video this last week. I'm so sorry that has, the guilt of that has really been weighing on me, but I have to let that go because there are a lot of really exciting things happening behind the scenes and I have just been really busy. I can't wait to tell you what's going on. I can't share just yet, uh, but stay tuned and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the big announcements that I do have coming. Uh, but this week, I am gonna squeeze in a video and I wanna talk about something that's been on my mind and that is about food and nutrition. So if you are interested and wanna hear my thoughts on food and nutrition, stay tuned. So food is incredibly important to our bodies. We put food in and food has minerals and vitamins and you know, calcium and all these things that you need, the building blocks of your brain and that fuel your immune system and give you energy. If you are not getting a lot of nutrition and eating a lot of crap food, maybe not right away, but eventually you're going to start to feel like crap and your quality of life is going to suffer. So because of that, I think it's extremely important that we talk about the way we tend to view food these days. I do think it's very problematic. When we go to the store and we look around at food, oftentimes the lower quality food that is not nutritious tends to be things that are just a lot of empty carbs and sugar, sodas, uh, sugary cereals, bread, things that are cheap are often, when you look at the nutrition, you're getting a lot of food, like, you know, pound for pound food for your money. But then if you look at the nutritional value on the food when you're buying these cheaper foods, unfortunately, a lot of times, and always, these cheaper foods that are cheaper pound for pound are nutritionally deficient. Um, we need to really change the way we look at food. The fruits and vegetables are more expensive than the 99 cent dollar menu burgers and fast food that we're getting. But if, and those things, you know, maybe you can have those as a treat here and there, but those things aren't really helping you as much as say a smoothie or um, just something that's a lot more natural and ready for your body to absorb and use up. So I want to challenge all of you when you're going to the grocery store and when you're shopping, don't look at how much food, like to fill my, just to fill my belly food am I getting for the dollar. Think about how much nutritional fuel, nutritional value am I getting to feel and to fuel my body for the dollar. Um, and I started to change the way I looked at food years ago because I will admit that when I was fresh out of high school and in my early 20s, I ate a lot of fast food. The dollar menus were my best friend and those were some of my favorite things, but I really didn't feel great. And when you're young, you can kind of get away with that for a while. As I started to get older, I'm 30 now, I noticed that my body was a lot more sensitive to the types of food that I was putting into it. Um, and, you know, I'm on a special diet now because I've been trying to take care of my health. But before that, I did notice, like, after I started doing clean eating, when I would go back and I would have, you know, some junk, um, I would really almost even feel instantly like, I have to take a nap now because I ate this and I'm tired from eating it. And I don't really, I don't, I don't, not, not, not really, I don't at all get that anymore. Now that I've cleaned up the way I eat, I focus on a lot of um, whole foods. I know the ingredients of my food are, you know, natural ingredients. There's no high fructose corn syrup and weird um, things I can't pronounce. Basically, my rule um, 
when I'm picking food and I'm reading ingredients, because I believe it's really important to pay attention to ingredients, is when I look at the ingredients and if the word in the ingredient is something that I can't easily imagine, like apple. Oh, I see an apple. I know what that is. Uh, if it's some maltodextro, what? I'm like, what does a maltodextro look like? Thought bubble, nothing. I have nothing to visualize in my head for that. I don't eat it um, because your body is made to eat food in its very pure, natural form, and all of these weirdo chemicals just, to me, that makes me really uncomfortable. And a lot of them, we're you know, starting to find out now, are really bad for us. And some of these things that we think might be okay now, we may find out down the line that really they weren't good for you in the future, like aspartame or aspartamine, depending on what side of the pond you're on. Um, that was thought to be safe when it came out. And there's, a, if you Google aspartame or aspartamine and dangers or health problems, you'll find a lot of stuff. Uh, so, and there are other countries in America, you can still give it to kids, but there are countries that it's illegal to put aspartame in products that are made for kids because uh, there's a whole lot of things. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not gonna go into that, but just really think carefully about the things you're putting into your body because it's really important uh, to take care of yourself. Um, anyway guys, that's a little bit longer video than normal, but it's really important and I just had to share those thoughts and my food obsession with you. I will talk to you guys next week, I hope. Subscribe and have a good one.